hi friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much god bless you for returning back here to watch my videos but if it's the first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends in our today's video we have another matchmaking show and our single lady of today who is searching for her perfect match is from nigeria <laughs> tells us is from an eastern part of nigeria from a tribe called Igbo. so she is an Igbo lady goes by the name of esther a single mother of one beautiful 18 years old girl lives with her mom and her dad and that comes from a very humble christian family so guys like i have been doing this we are going to be starting by seeing esther's photos so that you get to know who is esther while me telling you about her then you're going to be remembering oh she looks like this <laughs> especially you as a single guy who is here searching for the perfect match too <laughs> okay so enjoy guys So after seeing her photos, let us know a little bit about Esther's love life. You know, like her past love relationship experience, if she ever dated anyone, or if she ever been in any relationship. Plus, like I have always told you that most of the ladies that I bring here for matchmaking show are on online dating apps searching for love. So as Esther is also on online dating apps searching for love and also get to know her challenges to find love in real life because you might wonder why a beautiful lady like Esther be here searching for the perfect match so by knowing a bit of her love life you will understand more better why Esther is here <laughs> so guys esther tells us yes she has been in two few relationships but they start better and in the end end with a heartbreak so she can say that has got a sweet love life not at all so guys let's go to her challenges to find love on online dating apps because i told you esther is on online dating apps searching for love so esther tells us it has been really frustrating and disappointing for her as a real or genuine woman who is on online dating apps searching for a serious relationship has been facing lots lots of people who pretend at first to be good to be you know so much in love with her but eventually they turn out to be scammers eventually they turn out to be time wasters so her online dating journey hasn't been easy at all and now let us go to her challenges to find love in real life so friends Esther tells us in real life it has also been a challenge and her biggest challenge has been trust cause was in a relationship before with a nigerian guy they were crazily in love with each other and esther thought that that guy is going to get married to her like how we always think <laughs> as a lady when you're dating a guy you're committed to him you know oh yes i found the one so that is how it was with esther and esther used to be invited at the boyfriend's place to visit so she could go visit and this boyfriend 
told her was living with another guy who was a friend you know like a roommate okay yeah <laughs> so Esther knew it that way and the relationship kept on going they kept on planning lots of good plans for their future but one day Esther came to find out that that boyfriend was not even living with that friend not at all the house was of that friend because he was a bachelor but esther's boyfriend had a wife he was married already can you imagine how these guys can lie and be very very cruel play with your feelings that's why i've been here telling you guys you need to shine your eyes whether you are on online dating apps whether you are in real life, you know, in a relationship, you're dating a guy, please shine your eyes. Don't trust this guy 100% until <laughs> you are sure, sure that, oh yes, he is not lying to me. So unfortunately, that is what happened to Esther. She was very, very disappointed, very frustrated and gave up on love after that relationship but like as you know time heals <laughs> so time went and esther you know felt like i need to try again so found another nigerian guy they dated but it ended same same way because the guy started cheating on her it was full of disappointments and that's when she decided to join on online dating apps and be like, let me try some other race. Maybe it's going to be different this time. So Esther has been on online dating apps and then came across my YouTube channel. You know, kept on watching my videos so that they can help her on her search and eventually I came up with this idea of matchmaking. She was like, Bella, I am interested please please because esther wants to increase her chances to be found so guys that is how esther's love life has been so far so guys i asked esther to tell us or to tell a single guy who is here watching this matchmaking show what is love or if someone asks her define love so let me read for you what esther responded Love for me is that feeling that cannot be defined in one word or sentence or paragraph. It is a feeling that is indescribable, that feeling that makes you not hurt someone or lie to them or make someone feel bad or sad, that feeling that can attract you emotionally, passionately to the other. So that's her definition about love. So to the other question that I asked Esther was, are you interested in interracial dating? <laughs> and from her past love relationship experience, I think you noted down that <laughs> Esther decided to join on online dating apps so that she can change things, <laughs> try a different race. So when I asked her about interracial dating, this is her response. Honestly, I am interested in an interracial relationship because I love how some good and loving white men show affection to their partner and family so she really desire that kind of love and affection and expects to get that from a good loving white man so if you are the one <laughs> watching this and you feel like everything so far that you are hearing from esther <laughs> tells you she might be the one do not hesitate to check me out on instagram at african bella and on my facebook page at african bella they will talk come let us talk if you are a perfect match then i'm going to match you with esther <laughs> so that you begin your love journey so yes esther desires that kind of love and affection because unfortunately was not able to get that and she really misses that a lot also added why she is interested in interracial dating 
really loves mixed kids <laughs> yeah and would like to have one <laughs> So friends, let us go to her ideal man <laughs> and I'm going to be reading for you what she responded. My ideal man is a man who has the fear of God in his heart, not too short, not too tall, a man who has some flesh of skin because I really like to touch some skin in my man's body <laughs> and not bones, a kind man, affectionate, passionate, respectful, understanding, and honest. A man I can trust my future with. So when it comes to interracial dating, we can't forget the relocating part. So I asked Esther if she is willing to relocate when she finds that perfect match. Esther was like, yes, Bella, I am willing to relocate. Then to the religion because guys when it comes to religion in a relationship it's very very important so esther tells us is a christian and would like her much to be a christian too so guys to the things that esther cannot tolerate in a relationship let's hear them things i wouldn't tolerate in a man is all kind of abuse violence drugs drinking and getting drunk of it lies cheating criminal minded man is a big no to esther so now to a bit of her character so that you get a bit of an idea of how her character is so let's find out i am an introvert god fearing simple hard working respectful and also i am very blunt honest and peaceful to her expectations in a relationship. <laughs> I've been getting lots of questions, especially from white men asking me, Bella, we want to know what you black women expect in a relationship. <laughs> so that's why I really, really love this part. <laughs> so let's hear Esther's expectations in a relationship. I expect a relationship to have mutual respect, understanding, teamwork, communication, emotional and financial support, and patience. To her best qualities as a woman. <laughs> yeah. So you as a single guy, it's time to know what are Esther's best qualities. I am very optimistic and strong woman. I allow exchange of thoughts and ideas. I put my best in anything I set my hands to do and do it well. I'm a very honest person and straightforward lady. I'm a very blunt lady. I don't pretend when I'm hurt or feel displeased. So you as a single guy, <laughs> From this, you know that you can't step on Esther. <laughs> She's a lady who stands on her grounds. And if something does not please her or sit well with her, she will talk. She will let you know. But don't mistake this as someone who is aggressive. Not at all. <laughs> She's such a loving lady and I have been working with her for some months now. And I can assure you that she is really a good, good lady, a wife material. <laughs> yeah, so let us go to the countries of her preference because there is no crime in having a preference. So Esther tells us would prefer her match to come from USA, Germany, Italy, Poland, Norway, Australia, Canada, but adds that she is open <laughs> for any country. What is important is to find the one. Yes, so do not hesitate even if you're not in those mentioned countries and you feel like Esther is your perfect match. 
do not worry. Just reach me out on Instagram at African Bella and on my Facebook page at African Bella The Real Talk. So guys, when I started this video, I noticed that I forgot to tell you how old is Esther. So Esther is in her late thirties, yes, and the age that she prefers her match to be is from 37 to 57 years old. If you are in that age range and you like the way Esther has described herself, you like her profile, you like her photo, you would like to get to know her more, please, please reach out to me and let's talk. So guys, before I end this video, I would like to wish Esther all the best on her search for that perfect match. And you too who is watching this video, let us wish Esther all the best and pray for her to find that perfect match. You who has been here watching this matchmaking show till now, God bless you. I really appreciate much, 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 much. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Maybe he is single. <laughs> share the video with him. It will be of a big help. Please comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. Watch my other videos too. They are super, super good. You're going to learn a lot. If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao.